Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Friday, October 13th, World Egg Day. I'm Addie Carroll, and welcome to WCTZ News. Today's episode of WCTZ is sponsored by El Marie Home. The Key Club will be hosting their annual blood drive on Thursday. Sign-ups will be held Tuesday and Wednesday. You must be 16 years or older and weigh a minimum of 110 pounds to participate. All students donating will get a free shirt and snacks. Girls soccer tryouts will be held on Tuesday and Thursday from 3.45 to 6 p.m. and Friday from 2.30 to 4 p.m. You must attend all three days of tryouts. In order to try out, you must be cleared through the athletic clearance and have completed the four mandatory courses and given the certificates to Coach Jenny. Any student who would like to take an AP exam at West Shore but is not currently enrolled in the course on campus must see or email Dr. Hedrick by next Friday. If you are self-studying for an AP course, you must pay for the exam by Friday, November 3rd to be registered to take the exam in May. Please see Dr. Hedrick in room 4102 or email her as soon as possible. Now for a special message. Pardon the interruption, I'm Drew Newland. And I'm Jack Grimison. And Orlando City is currently ranked number two in, as the MLS heads into postseason. Uh, Grim, what are your thoughts on this? Well, I love Orlando City to take the MLS Cup this year. I think they're looking great with players like Uruguayan midfielder Facundo Torres uh, being a great passer, a great facilitator. I think he's really going to help him score some goals and take him far in the playoffs. And also, American rookie forward Duncan McGuire, who just racks up goals and goals and goals. I think that Orlando City, watching them taking a comeback win after comeback win this year, I think they're going to be great contenders for the Cup. What do you think, Drew? Yeah, you know, Graham, when it comes to contenders for the Cup, I think that Orlando City is definitely up there. They're a very energetic team, and I've loved to watch them this season. However, number one ranked in the Eastern Conference, Cincinnati, leader, leader, leader by uh, Luciano Acosta. I mean, he's, as, he's number one in the MVP race right now, and that's above Lionel Messi, who is the, considered the GOAT of soccer. I don't, I don't know how you can count, discount that. Well, Lionel, Messi, Lionel Messi's Inter Miami this year, they looked rough. And I think that's just embarrassing because they shipped, all the, shipped in all this talent from overseas like Messi and Busquets and having this American talent like Calendar and Kermashi. And it's just embarrassing, I think, when you see this team with all this talent taking a big L this season, eliminated from the playoffs. That comes down to coaching, in my opinion. What do you think? You know, I, I agree with you there. I think that with Lionel Messi being considered the GOAT, and shipping them in from across the pond, as well as other talent, I think that you need to. Uh, I think that they should have definitely had a bigger season. I think it's honestly uh, embarrassing. Sorry, Drew, I'm getting a call. Oh. Cristiano Ronaldo, you want your GOAT title back? Sorry, sir, we cannot give that to you. All right, thank you for the stats. Stats are in, Drew. You know, Swim had a big week in the Cape Coast Conference with diver Eliza Hicks picking up first place and also setting a new school record. And swimmer Nicole Riapel winning her events in the 50 freestyle and the 100 meter buddy butterfly. We also had senior Olivia Luchetti picking up 38 digs this week. Lastly, we have golfer Ava Bartlett shooting a 47 in one of her matches. Great job, Wildcats. Back to you, Ms. Carroll. Thank you. Now to a fun fact for Hispanic Heritage Month. Hispanic Heritage Month started as a celebration uh, during the Johnson administration that lasted a week. Then during the Reagan administration, the celebrations was expanded to a 30-day uh, chunk going between September the 15th and October the 15th so that as many of the Independence Days could be covered as well as Columbus Day, which at the time was not yet known as Indigenous Peoples Day. Thank you. Today's episode of WCTC News is also sponsored by Little Dose Mexican Cantina. Please be sure to return your Career Exploration Fair parent permission form to your first period teachers as soon as possible. Club pictures will be taken on Tuesday and Wednesday in the gym during Power Hour A and B. A schedule of club picture times will be given to all teachers today. Today is the last day to put in your Caramel Apple pre-orders. The cost per apple is $12 and cash or checks made out to West Shore are accepted. Your orders will be delivered to your first period class on Monday, October 30th. Today's episode of WCTZ News is also sponsored by Norwex Independent Consultant. Now for the alma mater.
you for tuning in to today's edition of WCTZ News, sponsored by El Marie Home, Little Dose Mexican Cantina, and Norwex Independent Consultant. I'm Addie Carroll. Have a great day, Loudcast.